In this video, I'm going to show you how to open documents that aren't Lynx whiteboard files in your Lynx whiteboard. This is really handy for when you do like have a smart notebook file you want to use. You can upload it into Lynx. Um, you can also use Google Docs, Google Slides, and PDFs. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. Um, first, you're going to open up your apps, go to your Lynx whiteboard, just like normal. Um, when you get here, this you won't have this icon. Yours will look like this. You will want to sign in once you have your Lynx account. Um, and it will sync your Google Doc or your Google Drive and your Lynx Cloud. Um, there is a separate video showing you how to access your Lynx Cloud on your laptop. Um, so it's going to take you to a browser. You're going to go to um, Google Sign In. Sign in with your Google account. Go through all the steps. Click Continue. Once it says Login Successful, you will click your pencil button to go to your active apps, your Windows. The links is going to be under the Chrome browser, so wherever Chrome is, close that out. And there's your links whiteboard, or it might be a separate one. It might just be full on my board. Um, now you should see this icon showing that you're logged in to um, your links cloud app. So then you're going to click open. And from here, you have different files that are stored on your board. So if you have a documents file on your board, if you download something from your browser, and save it in your documents file, it'll be right here, your download folder, and then a links folder, which if you save a whiteboard you make on your board, you can save it to your links folder. I suggest saving it to your links cloud, so then you can access it from any board, but um, that's another option as well. You have access to your Google Drive, and then you also have your links cloud. If you click on your links cloud, you'll have all your files that you uploaded from any um, device that is also connected to your Lynx Cloud. So what I like to do is on my laptop, I'll go to my Lynx Cloud account um, and then download a PDF. And then when it's in the bottom of my browser where it has the downloads populate, I like to just drag it right up into the window that my Lynx Cloud is on. So that's what I did to get all of these here. Um, if I wanted to do a teacher toolbox with whole class or even small group on my board, I could double click on the teacher toolbox lesson that I had already uploaded onto my Lynx cloud and I can go through the PDF with my students right here. Each page of the PDF is its own page on um, my whiteboard. So that's how that's set up. I can use my tools just like I would um, if it was just the whiteboard app. So I can write in here. It's always an exciting time, but then I can interact with it just like this. If I go to the next page, it'll save it right where I am. Um, if I zoom in, it keeps the text the same size. So one issue people are seeing is that the overlay, um, if I do this pencil tool to write over a website or something, it doesn't allow me to interact with the site. So there's just a picture over the screen and I can't move anything around because it's, when I use this pencil tool, it just covers everything with like, it takes a picture and then you write over the picture. Um, so I can't move the screen around. One way to get around that is through Link down up to upload a PDF or a document into Link so I can interact with it here. I could also um, try using it through the browser, which could be another option. Okay, so my other option would be to open up um, a document from my Google Drive. So from here, I would just click Google Drive. Once I log in with my Links account, it should link my Google Drive account as well. <clears throat> um, it might be helpful too if you know you're going to be using a file in links to create your own folder within your Google Drive that has all of those things so it's really easy to access um, from here. <clears throat> so let's say I want to open up this Chess Champion um, Google Doc. 
it's going to convert it to um, a links file format. Um, but now I can see it all here and work on it with my students. Um, so we can read it together as a class, and then I can model how I would answer the questions for the students up here. I can use either the text tool, or I can do the handwriting recognition to text, or just write with a pen here. Um, another thing I could do is open up a Google slide. I'm going to open up this Google slide. And um, so now I have the slide up here. Each slide is a different page. Um, and I can work through questions with students on here. Maybe they're on their Chromebooks um, or have the hard copy of this, but now everybody can see what's happening. Um, I don't need to use a document camera. It's all right here. So that's the main way you can access different files through your Lynx whiteboard.